What's up everyone? Welcome back to Climbing Hold News Reviews. I'm your host, Dr. Z. Today we're taking a look at decoy holds and we're taking a look at the Dual Text Limestone series. Before we get started, just wanted to shout out to my friends at Collective Climbing in Penrith, Australia. Thank you guys so much for sending this to me. It's super cool. Love the sweatshirt. You guys are awesome. You guys set cool stuff. I love your videos. Thank you guys so much. You guys should definitely check them out. So we're gonna get started with decoy and we're gonna start with the Gorilla Pockets. So this, I love the name, Gorilla Pockets. Like I will tell you again, I've climbed on these. You can see the chalk right here. And I just feel like a freaking gorilla when I grab these things. Like they're just meaty, they're positive radius. They feel like jugs depending on what angle you're on. Uh, but they also can be a little bit slippery. So like this one here, this is a really nice positive jug. Your hand just fits in there pretty much perfectly. Um, the one I just had before that, not quite as juggy, a little bit more slopey, but really nice in terms of the aesthetics, really nice in terms of the comfort. Um, some intricacies here on the surface that fit in really well with the rest of the holds. Again, the rest of the holds really are inspired by uh, Mallorca in Spain. Just really, really nice, good, positive holds. I saw these holds in different competitions when they were first released, um, especially the Central Rock gyms. They tend to have a lot of the decoy stuff there. Uh, and I was just super excited about finally getting my hands on them. And I will tell you, they did not disappoint. These are some awesome, awesome, big juggy pockets. So there's six in this set. Um, so these are considered 2XL, which again, for decoy, 2XL is quite large. Um, you know, they're, they're big holds. If you compare some other companies, you may not get quite as much bang for your buck, with, but with decoy, you definitely do. Uh, so there's six in the series, as I mentioned different variability in terms of the pockets but all still very positive i think there's one that's maybe a little bit more slopey out of the six and it's just barely i mean everything is very very consistent so love the gorilla pockets climbed on them a bunch absolutely love them we've also got the two text uh, double finger pockets here they're two text two fingers i think that's what they're called um, these are really great so dan again is awesome at shaping pockets uh, pockets are tough. When you're making pockets, they really need to be ergonomic. They need to be safe. They need to be deep enough in a lot of cases that you're not going to cause finger injuries. And I think there's really only a few shapers in the game that successfully do that. Dan Yegman is one of them. So he's the shaper, of course, for decoy holds. Um, really nice ergonomic pockets. You can see it there. You can see how well my fingers fit in there. Uh, very comfortable. Two fingers, easy, no problem, feels great. So there's six in this set. This one is a little bit smaller, so just a little bit smaller of a pocket. You can see there from the inside, uh, but still very, very positive. Not quite as deep, but still very positive. Nice lip here, so you don't get any weird like knuckle rubbing or anything like that. That's another thing that's super important with pockets. You really don't wanna be like rubbing your knuckles on that hold, that is not gonna feel good. And you're gonna say, I'm not doing this problem. It feels weird. It feels tweaky. So here's another one. Again, nice, deep, two finger pocket, super comfortable. Six in the set, great holds. I love these things. I've put these on volumes. I've climbed on them on just a flat wall um, at different angles using my Kumiki Everlast Ever Active adjustable walls. Um, you can't go wrong. I mean, these, these holds are just awesome. The texture really, the real rock texture is more just on the outside. Once you get down into the actual inside of the hold, it's super smooth, it's super comfortable. You can probably see that here. So very nice ergonomic, super comfortable, comfortable holds. Here's another one. This one's a little bit bigger. I can almost get three fingers in there. It's a little bit tight. You know, I probably prefer to stick with the two, but you know, everything is great there. So super happy about that. And then Dan released, so those were all part of the new, the original series. And then Dan actually released an expansion where he put a whole bunch of other dual tech limestone holds. And this is the 5XL Monster Feature Hold. So it's a feature tufa. It is absolutely massive. I mean, this thing is just great. If you watch the other videos, you can see some of the other tufas, like the drip tufas. 
this fits perfectly in line with those. I absolutely love Tufa climbing. I love it indoors, I love it outdoors because there's just so much that you can do, especially as a route setter, there's so much variability that you can do um, with forcing people with certain hand movements, grabbing certain parts of the hold. You know, with a Tufa, there's not usually just one spot that's like, boom, that's bomb. There's usually multiple spots. You're usually doing a lot of pinching, doing a lot of grabbing. Um, you can do really cool stuff with your legs, you know, as far as like forcing certain types of knee bars, really the possibilities are endless. So that's one of the reasons I really enjoy Tufas. Um, and again, Dan just nailed this. This holds beautiful. It's aesthetic. It's got dual text. So you'll still be able to tell that it's a black hold, even if it's all chalked up. Um, really nice, just meaty, functional hold. And again, I cannot wait to see what our setters do with these, putting them in a line, because there's also a bunch of other smaller pinches that he's released. We're gonna show you guys those soon. Um, so a ton of different options for just really great tufa climbing, which you're gonna feel like you're deep water soloing without the pool maybe, or the ocean rather, I guess. Um, so great stuff. You guys should definitely check them out. Can't get, wait to get these on the wall with our setters. It's going to be rad. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate you guys and your support. Take care.